What's going on guys? Vic BP back with another Game Case Arcades video. I'm inside the battle station. I'm at the computer. Let me show you guys Eugene's artwork. So a little change of scenery. Right now I'm in Mission Control, the basement of my house. Basically I'm at my computer and I figured I'd take this up so to show you guys Eugene's artwork um, on Facebook and all that and on Instagram. Again, be sure to follow me, Vic underscore VP. Uh, I get a lot of messages about people asking about artwork and all that. I do follow a couple of groups. Um, RK One Up group, there's a man group I follow, virtual pinball group I follow. And, you know, people go to Facebook and they, you know, post comments, not to me, but, you know, for public. And there's a couple of comments about people asking about artwork and what's the best way to do it. Uh, and I try to help. I just try to chime in, especially now with this coronavirus pandemic. I have some time to be on my phone and, you know, message and everything. So um, basically taking this video to number one, uh, show off Eugene's artwork and kind of give you a little taste on as far as you know artwork and when people ask about artwork and what I do uh, to make artwork if you figure it um, basically we'll take that um, got the rig up got the camera up we got the screen capture so so basically I want to take you know my idea like I said in the past that we're going to be doing a little bit more organized uh, you know we're going to do it step by step uh, first thing I want to do is I want to talk about what the customer wanted. Uh, Eugene, basically, when he first made the order, um, he basically said, hey, Vic, I want a Ryu versus Ken cabinet. So off the bat, you do need a layout. You do need an idea. So I've never actually done that type of bar top before. Awesome. It's a challenge for me. I like it. So the first thing really is that you got to come up with the idea of what artwork you want. What kind of bar top do you want? Um, usually when I do talk to people, and again, it might change a little bit, but usually I do send them, you know, the Game Room Solutions site, because if they do like a already made, you know, Game Room Solutions template artwork, it's easy one, two, three, right off the press. And I do charge a little less on that. So first thing I do is I kind of look at, you know, some other people's artwork. So I'll go to Google, I'll look up Ryu versus Ken arcade cabinet and all that and judge it from there. Uh, you know, for me personally, it's like, you know, some customers do have a very specific idea. Um, for example, for example, I had Jason's uh, miser uh, bar top, uh, snow, visor, snow miser versus uh, heat miser, and he actually sent me pictures that he wanted. Um, so you could do that. You could always send me pictures that you want. Eugene actually took a different approach and said, hey, Vic, listen, you do it. Like, do what you think is going to work and all that. So that's kind of cool on my end. I get to be kind of creative and have my own idea. But, you know, I usually like to have the customer give input, um, as, especially if somebody wants a specific picture in it, um, which we're going to go into, you know, later on or in another video. I'll basically describe what I do. I'm going to take this video as we're going to first look at Eugene's artwork and what I did, uh, and then basically kind of like the little steps that I take. So if somebody does want to see an actual full artwork, if you want to do, give me a challenge. Uh, which I'm down to do. If somebody wants to say, hey, Vic, let's do, you know, can you show off how to do, um, I don't know, a Galaga artwork style cabinet? We could do that too in the future. So um, basically, again, the first thing is that we needed to address what did the customer want? Um, you know, we're, we're talking about Ryu versus Ken. So there's a lot. The big thing about that kind of idea is that there's so many ideas that go through my mind. Um, you know, you could do like an evolution of Ryu, you know, from first Ryu, Street Fighter 1, all the way up to Street Fighter V, showing off the different characters, which I didn't want to do. I feel like that's going to be too chaotic. Um, basically, really, the first thing I do is I look up images, and then from there, I kind of piece together and get an idea. So, shockingly, though, with the Ryu versus Ken idea, there is no love for Ken. Artwork for Ken is just not there. Um, it's it's not as much as Ryu. Ryu has a ton of artwork, so. Usually, again, my base when I start is that I just go on Google and I just look up Ryu, like, you know, Ryu. And, you know, the big thing that um, I do with um, artwork is that I always end with PNG. A PNG file basically deletes the background. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to basically load up the desktop. Again, we're hanging out and um, show you my screen. And again, we're going to show you... Um, uh, Eugene's build. So I figure the first thing is I'm not going to show you Eugene's cabinet just yet. Let's just see one thing, which is a Ryu kind of thing. So here we go. I want to make sure this is my first time using this. Yeah. Okay. So 
I go into Google and I always end my word search with PNG. Uh, that is always the best way to do it because again, it removes the background. So we go into images. I just want to make sure that my Streamlabs, I'm in the picture. Cool. Okay. So basically, this is the big thing that you do want when you do artwork. You want no backgrounds um, because I usually start with a kind of abstract background and then I put it together. So that's the big thing. Anytime you see like the, the dots, that's usually a good sign that it's a PNG file. But the next step I also do is I go to tools and I actually make sure it's large. You do need large files um, in Photoshop. If you take a small image, which is what happened with Jason's miser build, um, you know, we tried to find PNG files. I couldn't find it. Basically, if an image is tiny and then you stretch it, it kind of gets distorted. The actual really awesome kind of thing to show you real quick, it actually happens right now on my webcam. Uh, the webcam right now, if you see, if I go full screen, I'm looking at it right now, I'm a little bit distorted. The image is stretched and all that. Whereas if I go back to like here, you could see it. Even if I drop down and actually go to my desktop, let me show you this. Oh, where did it go? There you go. See, like in, on my computer, this right here, this window looks like perfect. It's crisp right off the camera. So that's kind of like an idea you got to think about is that when you take this image and then stretch it, you do literally see pixelation. So keep that in mind. Again, I don't want to talk too much about building a, a thing, but as you can see, like right now, if we look at Ryu, there's a cut, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I want to make sure that I am still screen recording. Yes, I'm sorry. This is new to me. <laughs> so as you can see, there's a lot of Ryu. We have literally hand-drawn Ryu's. We have some cartoon style Ryu's. We have, you know, modern ones. We have Street Fighter Five ones. So there's a lot of stuff. The big thing though is like, if I look up Ken, not much love for Ken. Like there, there really is not much love uh, for Ken. So, you know, there's a, it, it does take a lot of time. It's very time consuming when you do artwork. So with that in mind, I will now show you Eugene's um, bar top that we did. So. First up, let's just kind of embrace it. Uh, I'm really proud of this one. It's really awesome. I, I, I love this one. This Ryu rendition is awesome. So keep in mind, though, it's, I usually do about three different artworks. So I'll do one. I'll send it to a customer. If he doesn't like the style of it, you know, we x it. So this one was pretty cool because the big thing is that, you know, with this bar top, I mean, with the PC that's in it, um, I feel like a modern... 3D Ryu was a big deal. So um, that was like the first thing I wanted was I wanted to do 3D. I didn't want to do like, you know, regular stuff like 8-bit Street Fighter 2 style stuff. Um, the big thing is that I wanted it to be 3D. So real quick, the you know big thing was that um, I found a nice picture. Uh, somebody made this picture of Ryu. Awesome picture. I mean, that's like insane. I, I love it to death. Um, big thing that I do now and I learned that I'm going to do another thing about this video is that there is actually secrets within the artwork because I learned my lesson with Game Room Solutions. Uh, Game Room Solutions one time requested the actual Photoshop file, meaning they wanted like the actual separate layers. I don't do that. You're not going to fool me. So right now, this is the actual image I sent out to Game Room Solutions. This is clean sent out. The original does have a bunch of layers on it. Um, so for example, like, you know, there's literally in this picture, there's really four to five layers. There is a background layer, which you kind of see like the smoke background. You see the, the, the red here and all that. We have one big picture. I have another big picture here and I have the Ryu name. So the Ryu name is I physically type that out. Uh, you know, we could go into fonts. I usually do like to do that. It's kind of cool. But again, focusing on the artwork, if I could take out the layout. Yeah, there you go. Okay, So I can remove the overlay this is supplied by Game Room Solutions. You could see the actual full picture that I took off the internet. Amazing artwork. And I actually did um, comment to the artist because it's cool. I mean, you can't, you can't lie. That's an awesome kind of feature. I mean, very high def. I think it's perfect. Rise the edge. That's another thing I want to be sure about bleed. I didn't want to put, I tried to get the Hadouk in more, but I feel like it's perfect. I could always shrink the image down, but I didn't really like it too much like that. Um, Good emphasis on that. Look at this drawing. Same artist. Oops. Same artist made this. I mean, the uppercut, like, that's insane. That's Ryu side. So this is left side cabinet. Uh, great stuff. Again, big thing is that you do need to use 
high resolution picture. So you can literally see the size of this picture. Um, if you look at like the image size on this, the resolution, it's a big thing. I mean, 7200 by 7200, it's a big file. So keep that in mind when you are looking at artwork. Um, so that is Ryu side. Again, I found a lot of pictures on Ryu. Uh, the right, which was difficult, was Ken. So this is Ken's side that I did. So again, I try to always do a theme to it. Real quick, if I go back to Ryu, check out like how I did Ryu's logo. I did it kind of like his dress style, which is honestly going to translate into the button style. So my button colors for this bar top is red on top, white on bottom. So three red top, three white bottom to kind of give it, you know, that's Ryu's clothing. His clothing is white and he's got the red headband. So I transferred that into Ken. Ken's got, you know, yellow hair up top and an orange kind of lower half or red, I would say. So that kind of translated into that same font using a Street Fighter 4 style font. Um, again, this is where Ra Ken was like, there was no love for Ken. Uh, this is like a stock Street Fighter 4 kind of artwork that you could easily find. Um, this one, I had to follow the same pattern I did with Ryu. Ryu has a big picture up here and then a smaller picture here. So I made that idea and then I try to always convert it into that. So again, big picture up top, smaller picture there. Notice also right here in this indent, I moved the characters over because we're putting a pinball button here. So you have to also keep that in mind. We don't have the dot for it, you can't physically see it, but I left space for that because I knew I'm going to be putting a pinball button. So keep that in mind whenever you're doing your artwork, if you're going to put a pinball button. Game Room Solution does not have a pinball button on the side. You have to physically drill that, which I'll be doing for UG. Uh, check out the marquee. The marquee, I fell in love with this. I, I mean, there's something about this image that I found um, that is really cool. And then basically we fixed it up. Let me see if I can find the original. I don't know if I do have it. This one. So this is the actual background on Eugene's um, PC. Like this is the background, this is the, the Windows background. So when you load up Windows, when the computer boots, you see this. And I personally, I, I fell in love with it. It's awesome. Uh, in reality, in all honesty, there's a Street Fighter 4 logo here. And basically I took more blood PNG files and I covered it up. Um, so with that, check this out. So this is where it got tedious. Um, as you can see, this is the stock desktop. Check out the height on Ryu's face to the E in Eugene, and then check out the marquee. You have to kind of work on it and all that. So I dropped it, and I think it's perfect. I think this is awesome. Um, I'm going to be using a white cabinet on the sides, um, so the white marquee will fit perfectly. So that's awesome. The marquee, I think it's great. I like what I did with Eugene's arcade logo. It's very cool, you know, with the slants and all that. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's awesome, and he liked it too. Check out the control panel. The control panel had two different ideas. Um, these two images are actually on um, Eugene's hyperspin loading screen that I have. Um, let me see if I can find that real quick. Because I did make a custom um, screen for Eugene. I don't see, I have so much files on my computer, but basically I did make a custom kind of loading a screen. So I did use this image kind of loading a screen. So I did use this image on the left and this image on the right. This is cool because it matches. It's the style that matches. So check out like how Ryu is. It's kind of like a drawing that somebody did. And luckily the same artist made a Ken drawing. So it fits perfectly. Check out the blend in the middle. You got to use the eraser tool. It's a big thing to use and all that blending is big. So with this, I was thinking about putting like the jab, the middle, you know, the, the three buttons, the jab, super, and all that, but I didn't really like how it looked. Using the same font that I used throughout the entire cabinet, I put the coin and the start up top. So that's the control panel. Just to give you another idea, I was going to do this as the control panel. Um, I'll let you just, you know, kind of take it in for a second. It looked cool. It was awesome, in all honesty. Again, my left side is Ryu, so this would have had to have been flipped like that. Um, it looked cool, and I did put it on my background. Maybe I could do it real quick just to show you what it would look like. Um, it's just honestly, it, once it once it came to actually like going to the control panel, 
I wasn't too much of a fan of it. So as you can see right now, you can see kind of like me right now, I'm stretching the original image. See like this right now, that's what it would have looked like. But I wasn't a fan of like the joystick going right through Ryo's heart. It, I, I wasn't a fan of it. Um, not to mention, I wasn't too sure who this was in the center. Um, I thought it was Akuma, but it actually looks like the guy from Tekken. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see that. But again, this is something that I always do. I will probably, I, I sent this to you, and I sent the other one. I wasn't a fan of this one. It's too hand drawn. And then, not to mention that when I stretched it, you kind of see it got pixelated. So I wasn't a fan of it. Again, that is the control panel on that. And you also have the bottom plate. The bottom plate here, I was struggling with. Um, here, I was going to do the evolution. I was going to have like a bunch of Ryus here, or I was going to do like one big Hadouken like the uh, Street Fighter 2 or Marvel vs. Capcom Hadouken, um, I didn't like how it looked. Because in all honesty, it's like, you know, the way the cabinet is being made is that everything is a modern-style Ryu and Ken. Modern Ryu. You got modern Ryu here. Not even old-school Ken on this, you know what I mean? So I didn't want to do, like, modern and then a little piece of old-school. It wasn't really coming together. Same thing here. This is modern style. Somebody drew, you know, a, a very nice drawing of this. So I didn't want to do that. So basically I took, and this is another thing that was difficult. Um, it's impossible to find a screenshot of Ken's super in Street Fighter. This is Street Fighter 4 on the right. This is Street Fighter 5 on the left. That's Ryu super on Street Fighter 5. So I figured it was kind of cool, kind of showing off their, their kind of specials. On the bottom here is same font exit load save i put go um i didn't want to put play i figured the word go like for street fighter style would have worked i could have done some other word but i figured go was simple not to mention the amount of space you have between the buttons same thing here clean um eraser tool on this to get a nice transition um i think it's awesome i think it looks cool again that's basically artwork on that um and luckily eugene liked it he approved it sent it out to Game Room Solutions, and there it went. You know what I mean? It's hopefully coming soon, so I'll be able to start the build. The last thing I want to do, and I want to show you, and again, I got this. You can see the video on Game Room Solutions, what they did. Um, Eugene actually has the control panel. They didn't know it, but he has my control panel where Eugene's, uh, Game Room Solutions took my artwork. Um, so the big thing is that usually when a customer like this, I don't like to blast my logo everywhere. I don't like to put my logos you know, I kind of like that people do see that I made it. Um, but then again, I post it on, on these videos of me making stuff and all that. So um, I don't like putting my logos everywhere and, you know, obnoxiously seen. Um, so the big thing that I did, um, it's mostly on the side. It's only on the sides, really. The marquee, nobody can copy this marquee unless your name is Eugene. Um, if your name is Eugene, yes, you know, Game of Solutions could post it and copy it there's really no way that's usually another thing that i do when it comes to artwork is that i try to do it in a difficult matter um you know for example here we have ryu covering the e um i have literally ryu's hand underneath the a i just always think of that there's, there's always ways of doing it game of solutions did just put a straight black bar on my control panel which was stupid and it looked stupid but people still bought it but whatever so real quick little easter eggs on this um it's kind of funny because i feel like when eugene watches all my videos obviously so eugene this one's for you i feel like if i'm going to show you this it's going to always be you know there you're going to look at it and be like oh i found it um i just did it really because this is the last hopefully last one for game solutions but it's kind of cool every little build if you think about it has an easter egg to it um so so it's really cool this side piece right here actually has my vic underscore vp logo and my game case arcades logo. I just hit it very well. I don't know if you could see it. Um, I honestly don't even remember where I put it. So we're going to search for it. Again, it's such a cool cabinet. It's such great artwork. And then I'm, just imagine if I slapped like a big Vic VP logo to it. Just imagine. Like you could see how my logo is. I love my logo. But like imagine if I just slapped that. Like just imagine if I slapped that there. Even like a game case arcade logo. Let's just say I took this red, right? And then like slapped it. Like that, I, it, it doesn't look right. Like I would be embarrassed to give that to a customer. Yes, I want people, you know, people are going to go over Eugene's house and be like, holy shit, who made this, you know, cabinet? 
I, I don't want that. I feel like that's rude and, and for them, like, you know, with the amount of money that people pay, like, I don't, I don't need to put my logo everywhere. So the big thing is, where did I go? So again, like I said, for me on this little Easter egg, it is actually hidden. This actual logo without the at is actually hidden. Um, so let's take a closer look at what did. Basically, I'm using, utilize the blending. Here we go. Here's one right there. You got literally the Game Case Arcade's logo. Um, from afar, you don't see it. You really don't see it. It's right at the leg of his pants. And again, I did it in a way to blend it. Um, the opacity is lowered. So, you know, somebody might not look at it, which is why I really lowered the opacity to make sure it's not clearly visible. But for example, as you could see, honestly, the way this artwork came out, I wouldn't be surprised if Game Resolution stole it. Um, but I just, I just put that there because I know that if I do see it on a site, there's no way that they would be able to put a black square around this. As far as the other one, there it is. Look at that. So Vic VP, it's right at a rock, and you, you barely could see it. You do see a hint of blue, but then again, that hint of blue kind of is right here also as a hint of blue. So a little Easter egg, I did put my logos on the side art because, again, this one's like awesome. I know people are going to be messaging me and say, hey, Vic, can I get this file? I think the Ryu side is unbelievable. I can't believe how I found the images and what I did with it. I love it. Same thing goes for Ken's side. Um, I'll probably give you guys a second if you could look at it. You know, I don't know if you could see it. And I'm trying to think of where I put it. I actually found it. See, like, that's the thing I, I know now. That's kind of like what, what I fear for Eugene is that he's going to get it. And he's like, oh, it's there. And then it's like one of those things that you just can't unsee. Um, but again, I did it in a way that I don't think, I don't think many people could see it. Um, time is up. Let us look for the Game Case Arcades logo. If you thought it was here, you're not even close. It is right, right there. Luckily with Ken, red was easy to blend in. And I got it right there. So again, Game Case Arcades logo hidden. I'm going to zoom out. It's kind of like one of those things where now you kind of see it. Right here, it's right here, but you really don't see it. Once you get up or close, you do see it. The last one is Vic VP. This one's difficult to see, but I do see it. It is right there. Basically, right here is like this kind of line that was with the original artwork. And then I basically kind of hit it. And there is your little Easter egg. Yes. So again, that's my biggest fear with this one. I'm afraid it happened to me before. And you can see how people will just take the artwork and then try to fix it and just cover it, which Game of Solutions did a very bad thing with mine where they just put a black bar um you can't black bar this if you did you you'd make it ugly as hell um but there is your little easter egg and there you guys have it it is eugene's artwork set printed and arriving soon left right marquee control panel and then i call bottom the bottom plate there you guys have it. Vic VP Game Case Arcade. The next video, we are most hopefully going to be getting the cabinet in. And then um, I'm going to be looking at, actually, with the stream setup I have here and all that, uh, we're going to be looking at his hyperspin drive and how I cleaned it up and the main systems that I put inside of his computer compared to the 40 terabyte um, original hard drive, which had over 200 systems in it. So we're going to look at that together. On to the next one, Vic VP, Game Case Arcade. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe me to YouTube. Thank you guys again for 900 subs, and I hope you guys like this little setup.